it's me, Jen Marie, and welcome back to another Connections, episode number two. Um, this is definitely a little bit of a weird one, I guess, and it's just coming from my brain, and now you know, like, how my brain works. This episode is a little bit different than the first one, but it's still a connection, and, like, weird coincidence thing, and you'll understand as I go along. For those of you who haven't seen, I post what I call mores, like, more Jen Marie, uh, more of this and that and everything else. So I only post these occasionally and I post these to Instagram and Facebook. And this more is what has inspired the connection today. I like clear skin and that's the truth. All you sisters just look uncouth. You give your man a heart attack cause you got acne on your back. Burr burr baby got fat knee. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How strange. <laughs> um, anyways. So that more was from a Google Translate Shakespeare, and I was doing a scene from Twelfth Night. And if you guys don't know, it's, uh, well, a play written by Shakespeare about the kingdom of Illyria. Welcome to Illyria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. <clears throat> uh, that... That comes later. Don't worry about that. So, in the play, the ship that Viola and Sebastian were sailing on just wrecks. And both think that the other is dead. After failing to get a job with Lady Olivia, because Olivia will not see any strangers uh, meet with anybody because she's in mourning for her brother's death. Uh, Viola decides to then go to Duke Orsino and apply to work at, like, in his household, but disguises herself as a man named Cesario. And Duke Orsino is in love with Lady Olivia. So, of course, as all comedies go, you need to have something very weird happen. And uh, eventually Viola as Cesario meets Olivia and Olivia falls in love with Cesario, who is actually Viola in disguise. In the meantime, Sebastian turns out to be alive. To make short of this plot, Sebastian ends up marrying Olivia because Olivia thinks that's Cesario. And when Duke Orsino and Viola, who's still dressed as Cesario, comes in. Uh, Olivia's like, oh, my husband, when she sees Viola, who's Cesario. And Duke Orsino's like, what? Excuse me, I am in love with her. What are you doing? Thankfully, Sebastian enters, and you see two very similar-looking people side by side, and the truth comes out. Viola reveals her disguise. And then Duke Orsino then professes his love for Viola, which he'd been holding on to. And the two couples, Viola and Orsino, and Sebastian and Olivia, live happily ever after. As with all comedies. All comedies end in marriage with, well, with Shakespeare, at least. So you're wondering, great, that's the plot. But what's the connection? I'm getting there. So the movie adaptation of Twelfth Night... Uh, the modern retelling is called She's the Man that was released in 2006. Come. Welcome to Illyria. Welcome, 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 welcome to Illyria. <laughs> All right. So that was the headmaster singing a welcome song to Illyria, which is the prep school, which represents the kingdom of Illyria from Twelfth Night. So She's the Man follows a similar plot line, except for the fact that they are all at prep schools and they play soccer. Um, also, Viola and Sebastian, they don't think that they're each other's dead. Um, Sebastian actually runs away, I think, to, to follow, like, a band for, like, a couple weeks. And she's like, oh, great, opportunity to go play soccer with uh, the rival of her school and show everybody that she can play soccer just as well as the boys. But she dresses up as a boy to do that, so... So. 
So my connection that I'm making here is that there's an actress in She's the Man who is also in another Cinderella story, which the Bacni commercial is from. And, well, I don't know if... Do, do you guys know who I'm talking about? I don't know if you guys have ever seen either of these, these movies, but do you guys know who I'm talking about? Well, the actress's name is Emily Perkins, and she plays Eunice in She's the Man, which I don't think there is a counterpart in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. I could be wrong, but it's, there's no direct correlation. Well, in another Cinderella story, she plays one of the stepsisters, and her name is Britt in, in that. Yep. That was it. That was the connection. Because really, I just thought it was cool that the Texas speech bot I like. reminded me of this song that was in a fake commercial in the movie Another Cinderella Story, who happened to have this actress, Emily Perkins, uh, who happened to play in She's the Man, and She's the Man was the adaptation of Twelfth Night Shakespeare that I was doing the Google Translate about. And I just think it was all weird, like, coincidence or, you know, connection. Yeah. Alright, well, welcome to the inner workings of my mind. <laughs> Peace, love, and blessings to you all. Bye! For those of you who, blah, 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 blah. Uh. Uh, Olivia, <laughs> Olivia and Viola, they're so similar. Nah. Viola decides to go and go to Dork, Dork, go to Dork Orsino. <laughs> I like clean skin and that's the truth. All you see is just the gun. Cool. You give your man a heart attack. Cause you got acne on your back. Bo bo baby got backne. Live backne clear. <laughs>